everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. And if you're not, welcome back Shan fam. It's good to see you again. So today I decided to share my thrifted graphic tee collection with you guys. A lot of people have been asking me about my graphic tee collection and how many tees I have and just kind of what my collection looks like in general. So I decided that today I'm going to show you guys. I have quite a variety of graphic tees that I've thrifted throughout the years and some of them are new, some of them are older. I also decluttered a lot of stuff so my graphic tee collection isn't as big as it used to be, but it's still pretty dang big. So we're going to try and get through this pretty fast. If you guys want to, go ahead and click subscribe down below. There's going to be a lot more thrifted content throughout the year. So if you want to keep up with the Shan fam, then go ahead and click that button. And also, if you want to, go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I like to keep you guys updated on what I get when I'm thrifting, things that I'm super shocked and excited about. So if you want those sneak peeks, go ahead and follow me. It's just at shenanigans, like my YouTube channel. So let's get started on one of my favorite things to thrift, one of my favorite things to wear, and I don't know, I guess just like my favorite overall item to have in my closet. I just love graphic tees so much. I decided to wear a graphic tee that I really love. It's just this Nike graphic tee that I bleached myself. I love it. I love the way that it turned out and I love the way that the bleach makes it pop a little bit more than it did before. Don't get me wrong, it was really nice without the bleach, but I just wanted to put my own little twist to it because I do have a lot of black graphic tees. So this is graphic tee number one. Here is a, another graphic tee that I bleached myself. I wanted to make it a little bit different because the Adidas didn't pop on the shirt at all. And I had done this design previously to a black one that I had, and it just really made everything like pop and look so much better. So I decided to put my own twist to it. And now I love this shirt more than I could ever possibly imagine. I wear it so much more often than I would had I not bleached it. I think bleached tie-dye is a vibe. I'm into it, I like that trend, and I'm here for it. Another Adidas graphic tee. I have a lot of these in my wardrobe, mainly because they're pretty easy to find and they're very easy to style and wear every day. This is something that I would wear with like a puffy coat over it and just some like docks or a pair of dad shoes, something of that sort. Overall, just another essential in my closet. I love this graphic tee a lot. It goes with pretty much anything because it's white and yeah, I'm a fan. This graphic tee is probably my all time favorite graphic tee ever. I just love it. I really love the colorway of it. It just has a really cool car on the front. I also really like the font. It's yellow. It's just vibrant, has a lot of colors, but it's still a white t-shirt, so it goes with a lot. And this is probably my most worn graphic to you besides another one that I'll show you in just a second. I don't know what I would do without it, honestly. Graphic tees that I love thrifting are band graphic tees. They sell them at Urban for a ridiculous amount of money. So whenever I find them at the thrift store, I'm like, yes, score, winning, love this. Love this for me, love this for all the thrifters out there. This shirt is another one of my favorites. I wear it all the time. It already came bleached for me, which I thought was pretty cool. And unfortunately, I don't really listen to Kiss, but I do really like this shirt and I wear the shit out of it, so thanks Kiss for making a rockin' t-shirt. You guys are probably going to see a lot of Disney graphic tees in this video because I am a huge Disney fan and one of my favorite things to thrift is Disney graphic tees. And you can find a lot of really vintage ones, but I found this one and I think it's pretty new. I could be completely wrong about this, but it has Levi's on the side right here and then it also just says Mickey Mouse right here as well. It goes with so many things and I actually wear it pretty frequently for it being a Disney shirt. I don't really care. I will wear Disney all day, every day. I don't have to just be at Disneyland because it's a vibe. It's a look that I'm here for. This is probably like my third favorite graphic tee out of all of them just because it's got little Mickey Mouse on the front. I also own this Calvin Klein graphic tee. I've had it for quite some time and I got it when Calvin Klein logos were like really 
booming, I feel like, in streetwear. And I don't wear this shirt as often as I used to, just because I tend to lean towards my other graphic tees a little bit more often. I like the gray a lot. I think it's cool. Gray is one of my favorite color tees to rock, so glad I found it in this color. I also thrifted this Lamborghini shirt and I decided to crop it myself. It is featured in one of my all-time favorite Instagram posts and I'll just insert it right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This plant shop in my neighborhood is absolutely to die for and the guy was nice enough to let my friends and I take photos in there so shout out to that plant shop. I'll add the name right here so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you're in San Francisco because they're really nice. I also just recently thrifted this Adidas athletic shirt. I really like it. I love the font in the front. Not entirely sure if this is a band-aid or <laughs> what <laughs> let me know what you guys think because I have absolutely no idea but I just thought this shirt was super versatile it could be worn alone there could be a shirt on top of it if I really wanted and you can never go wrong with a logo in my opinion this fun little racing tee is another favorite of mine. I actually started wearing the other racing tee that I showed earlier a little bit more frequently than this one, but when I wanna have a lot more pop of color, really like this racing shirt, super fun, so easy. Can tuck it in, can wear it out, throw on a pair of Adidas and call it a day. My absolute favorite thing to thrift, I feel like, is vintage Disney stuff. Don't think that this is vintage, but I just like thrifting Disney things in general. And how could you not want a shirt with Woody's shoe and Andy's signature on it? I just thought it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. I loved the color of it. Nudes are my jam. Whenever I see a Disney shirt at the thrift store, it's really, really impossible for me to turn it down. So, that's why I have so many. When I saw this graphic tee, I couldn't pass it up. I've never seen a Ralph Lauren shirt like this. It is so pretty and vibrant and different. When I saw this graphic tee, I was like, I might as well add one with color because the majority of mine are like white, black, and like some sort of gray and definitely don't have this color in my wardrobe. So 2020 is the year of trying new things and um, expanding your fashion horizon. I honestly feel like this shirt speaks for itself. It is so darn cute. How could you not want a shirt with Eeyore in your pocket? Like, <laughs> it's supposed to look like overalls and like Eeyore is just sitting there, which I think is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now it's quickly become one of my favorite shirts, so thank you, thrift store. It just has this on the back. It cracks me up so much. I am literally a five-year-old at heart. I laugh at like everything that's dumb. Anyway, I think it is the cutest little shirt. I love the color. I don't have a Harley t-shirt in this beautiful burgundy, so that's why I got it. I picked this up at a Goodwill in San Francisco and I decided that I wanted to DIY it myself because I really liked the lettering on the front here. And I ended up bleaching it and for some reason it just highlighted Bruce Springsteen up in the front perfectly. And I definitely like didn't even remotely try to do that, just did it on its own. So I really love the way that this ended up turning out. It just has some stripes going down all of the shirt. And I love the contrast between the light blue and the bleaching. Also, it's really freaking soft. I also have this other Harley shirt in my collection. I think everybody needs to have a black Harley shirt if they can find one. I just really love that it has like the little Looney Tunes right here and then it also has it on the back as well. It's just an everyday shirt that you can wear with literally everything and it's one of my staple graphic tees that I literally sleep in and I wear out, so it's versatile. Patagonia is a huge, huge thing in San Francisco. I swear literally everyone and their moms wears it. Like literally, like actually, <laughs> everyone wears it. And so whenever I find Patagonia at the thrift store, it's just heaven sent because honestly, it's comfortable and I really love to hike in like Patagonia stuff. It's just really warm, it's really well made and I actually just really like the Patagonia logo. And I love the colorway of um, their logo back here as well. It's a little different. I love that there's like a little mountain range. 
I also really like this green color. So all in all, I just really like this shirt. This queen shirt has been featured in so, so many of my videos and also is featured in my everyday life consistently because I wear it all the effing time. It's not even funny. I love it so much. It goes with absolutely everything. It just hits my waist correctly. Like it's not really cropped. This shirt gets worn like every other week, if not every week, because it's just, it's just easy. <laughs> When I get up in the morning and I want to sleep in, the first thing that I throw on is this, so. Score. <laughs> and last but not least in my collection is just this very classic Levi's t-shirt. I love it so much. It's exactly like that queen shirt. It can be worn with literally everything and anything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it to bed, whatever you want to do. The option is yours. It is available. You can wear it in style in any way that you want. And I love shirts and sweaters and any piece of clothing that allows you to do that just because you just have so many options. It's so fun. Um, I get really excited when I talk about these things clearly, but I just love it. It just makes me really happy. All right, you guys, so we are done with all of my graphic tees. There was a lot of them to get through and we are finally finished. I didn't realize how many graphic tees I had in my collection, but I'm not mad about it because they're pretty much my everyday thing that I enjoy to wear. I think I've said that probably like 20 times in this video, but just in case you didn't hear it, here's the 20th time. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best, and I can't believe we are well over 5,000 subscribers now. I am so blessed to have each and every one of you, and I'm just so happy that I have a thrifting community on YouTube. I have friends who like to thrift, but not as much as my thrifting community, so it's really fun to be able to chat with you guys and connect with you guys on something that we all love. If you guys want to, go ahead and subscribe. I like I said, I like to thrift, so there's gonna be a lot more videos where this came from. It doesn't make any sense, oh well. <laughs> and if you guys want, follow me on Instagram, it's just at shenanigans, like my YouTube channel. I post a lot of thrifted content. Go ahead and follow me there as well. And that's it for today, and thank you again for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!